yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for y'all. As y'all can see behind me, we do have Vader, and y'all can tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video, we are going over my mods list, the current list of mods that I've done to Vader that honestly helped me go 11.9 and probably lower, you know what I'm saying, once I get everything squared away. So... I've been getting this DM so many times. What's done to the car, J.I.? What you did to the car, J.I.? Where'd you get this part? Where'd you get that part? whoop de whoop de woo So we're gonna cover all of that in today's video. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, man, so I kinda made a list in my notes because I don't wanna forget anything. And then as this video goes through, if I see anything else, we'll go ahead and throw that in. So starting from the front, we have the ZL1 add-ons license plate bracket that actually doubles back as a tow hook so shout out to ZL1 add-ons we got that through Wild Hammer Motorsports using promo code JI Wild will save you some money at checkout then moving on we have the Amazon 1LE badges that go on the fenders and the rear bumper sliding down a little bit more we have the ZL1 add-ons rock guards then we have the EOS carbon fiber side skirts ZL1 style I love these joints when the sun hits they dance crazy get you guys a up close view that carbon just go crazy and everybody compliments the fitment I'm gonna be honest with you I finessed it a little bit but I definitely got it to work with no gaps so if you're interested Hit me up in the DM or go check out the video of the install. And I basically tell you guys how to do it to get it to fit like mine did. Then we keep going and we got the Amazon side markers. Now this right here is the most asked about modification I've done to this car. Just because they're super bright and they're all white. Let me go ahead and hit the unlock button so they cut on. We got them. Sheesh. Them joints, they stand out a lot. So I get asked that question a whole bunch. As we keep moving down to the back of the car, again, we got the 1LE badges for the rear from Amazon. Then we also have the Amazon uh, license plate frame that, you know, you can customize to say whatever you want. I went ahead and put the JI. Then I also have the white reverse LED bulb. Now, everybody's asking about that because if you guys been in tune with all the videos, you saw that I did a video installing some on the car and they actually just stayed on the entire time. So I got these off of eBay. Um, if you're interested, just go to eBay, type in um, LED reverse bulbs for the Camaro and it should pop up. They are blue. Um, so just if you see some blue ones, you're not looking at the wrong thing. You're looking at the right thing. Then... That's a full walk around of the car as of right now, as it sits. Um, now, off of the car, I do have the MRR 1LE replica wheels that are painted candy apple red, wrapped in a Michelin Pilot Sport. I mean, not a Michelin, I'm tripping. And a Mickey Thompson in the rear. Um, and then a Lancelli or something like that in the front. Now, other than that, that's pretty much all I've done aesthetically. We also have the 20% windshield tint and the 5% all around on the rest of the windows. But I know y'all want to get into the nitty gritty. So we'll touch on the interior first and then we'll get under the hood. So jumping into the interior, basically, as you guys can see, I have the interior flooded in carbon fiber all over the steering wheel, all over the center console, the knee pads, the rear, uh, the passenger dashboard cover for the airbag, the center trim piece, carbon everywhere. And then we also have 
the Rose Royce Wraith Star Headliner. Um, I actually have 1150 stars in the headliner right now. Um, shout out to ModFX, my boy Jay Monet did the install. Um, the majority of the carbon was actually sourced from Next Gen Speed. Um, if you use promo code JI Productions underscore, you can save yourself some money at checkout. Um, and then the only thing that I didn't get from Next Gen Speed um, was the passenger airbag cover for the dashboard. I got that from Wild Hammer Motorsports. Um, and then a couple of the pieces I got from Amazon. So I actually got these from Amazon. The trim bezels from Amazon, like the little ring. This right here and this right here from Amazon. And then one LE badge I actually got from a custom badge maker. Um, I can't remember the website, but if I do remember it, I'll put it in the description below. Now let's get to what y'all want to talk about. Under the hood. All right, so what's done to the motor? Basically, we have the Rotofab coder intake. We have the LT2 intake manifold with the C8 engine cover. The LT2 intake manifold is not ported. We are still on the stock throttle body. We have the Speed Engineering 178 from all tube headers, the MSD spark plug wires, um, and the E85 flex fuel kit. Now, the headers, the spark plug wires, and the E85 kit all are sourced through Wild Hammer Motorsports. Again, use promo code JIWild to save yourself some money at checkout. The Rotofab coder intake is from Fast Tech. The LT2 intake manifold and C8 cover actually came off of a homie's car in New Orleans, my boy 10 Speed Creed. If you guys have been in the loop with all the videos, then you know who he is and you would have seen the video when he made the trip from New Orleans to Houston two times in one week just to bring me that joint. So, with that being said, as far as the motor goes, that's pretty much all I have done. Um, as far as the exhaust work goes, it is catless, um, running to a three inch mid pipe, back to the stock X pipe, and then the stock MPP mufflers. Um, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I love how this car sounds. I think the headers definitely woke it up. <laughs> I also forgot to mention, bro, I know you guys can see Vader is stupid clean, you feel me? It's definitely a mirror. As y'all can see, you can see my reflection in the car. The car has been paint corrected and ceramic coated by Randall over at Mod FX. I forgot to add that. And I know y'all gonna kill me in the comments if I tell y'all about how good the exhaust sounds. But I don't let y'all hear the exhaust. So let me get a quick start up for y'all. It is a warm start. Um, so here you go. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Vader talk and he walk. You feel me? So with that being said, man, let's go back to the rest of the video. Um, you know, the 6.5s, they already pop like crazy from factory. But when you add the headers to this car, oh my God, it makes the world of a difference. It takes the pops and it turns them from, let's say, like an airsoft gun to an actual like AR, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. This thing be going crazy. Um, so with that being said, that's pretty much all I have done to this car other than adding car lock to it but y'all know i do that to every single car that i get um and that's not really like uh you know performance or cosmetic mod it's more of just like a safety thing um but i will open up the passenger side door for y'all so y'all can see the carbon dash sheesh but yeah man other than that i really haven't done anything to this car so far the build has been very, very simple, but obviously it is actually making a difference. You know what I'm saying? The car looks great from factory. I said this in a previous vlog. Chevy did their thing with this car. If I wasn't a car enthusiast and I just happened to stumble upon this car and take delivery of it, I really probably wouldn't change anything. Just for the simple fact that you get pops from factory, you get speed from factory, you get 
the arrow kit, the ground effects kit from Factory. It comes with the front splitter if you get the 1LE. It doesn't come with the side skirts like I told y'all I added those. And then it comes with that aggressive diffuser that's also satin black to match the satin black hood, the mirrors, the custom 1LE uh, three bar wing that's also satin black so it's just the car comes immaculate already you, you even get the smoked out tail lights from gm if you get an ss it doesn't even have to be a one le as long as it's an ss you get the smoked out tail lights so it's like you're winning on you know what i'm saying on every accord the car already comes pretty much perfect you just gotta add your little touches to make it yours and as you guys can see you already know i added mine um the car looks great to me i can't even lie i am super stoked with how the car actually turned out and how the car sits as of right now the car currently the fastest time that it holds in the quarter miles in 11.9 and that's with my girl in the car um on the red 1le replica wheels now i'm gonna be completely honest with y'all this car does move bro it does and i think i hear a there it is i think i hear a <laughs> i think i hear a corsa i think i heard a corsa exhaust i'm not sure you know what i'm saying but anyway like i was saying got my boy back to the money pulling Yo, up you good? feel me Pulling up in the goddamn Deceptatron, you feel me, with the Corsa joints in the back. Make sure y'all go tap in. But yeah, man, like I was saying, the car comes great from factory. I really don't feel like you need to change anything, honestly. But with all that being said, y'all, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what your favorite mod is that's on the car right now. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Let's go ahead and roll that outro. Peace.